Hello everyone, welcome back to our podcast. It has been nine years since Paul Muad'Dib, blinded, walked into the desert and was presumed dead. Before he left, he appointed his sister Aaliyah as the regent of the empire and the guardian of his twin children. After becoming the regent, Aaliyah married Duncan Idaho Gola. Under Aaliyah's leadership, the ecosystem of the planet Arrakis has undergone drastic changes. This once arid land has now become vibrant, and some Fremen have even abandoned their traditional still suits, moving from Siich to villages and cities. The savior Muad'Dib is now revered as a divine figure. His jihad has swept across the universe, attracting many pilgrims to Arrakis, many of whom are extremely devout. However, the pilgrimage is more than a display of faith. Many people gain enhanced social status and power when they return home, making lucrative economic decisions without complaints from their homelands. Paul's young twins, Leto II and Ghanima, discover that their aunt Aaliyah, addicted to spice, has been possessed by the spirit of their grandfather, Baron Harkonnen, turning her evil. They also fear the same fate for themselves. They realize that the ecological changes on Arrakis will not only destroy all sand trouts, but also lead to the extinction of sandworms, cutting off the source of spice, which is exactly what Baron Harkonnen wants. Elia seems to take pleasure in this disaster. Leto II, inheriting his father's prescient abilities, unlike Ganima, is urged by Elia to start using spice early to open the doors of prophecy and help her manage the empire. However, Leto II fears that he, like his father, will be trapped by these visions and set on an unchangeable path. Meanwhile, Jessica has left her secluded planet, Caladan, and is about to arrive on Arrakis to visit her grandchildren. Knowing that her mother is coming, Aaliyah fears that Jessica will discover her possession by Baron and thus schemes against her. Aaliyah, having unlocked genetic memories before she was born, has long been struggling with the ancestral consciousness within her. Since becoming regent, the burden of responsibility has driven away her fear. She opens her heart to the life within, seeking their counsel and guidance under the influence of spice. As Aaliyah grew older, she found it increasingly difficult to control the many voices inside her head, which swirled around her like sharks. Baron Harkonnen's consciousness was able to suppress these noises. To share his consciousness, Aaliyah made a deal with Baron. Under Baron's influence, Aaliyah secretly started a romantic relationship with High Priest Ziarenko Javid, behind her husband Duncan's back. Meanwhile, in the desert, a blind preacher known as the Missionary gained sudden fame among the Fremen. This preacher, led by a young guide, appeared on the streets of the capital, Arakin, openly criticizing the blind worship of Muad'Dib and its destructive impact on the environment. According to traditional Fremen law, the blind should be exiled to the desert, but this rule has been abandoned in the resource-rich modern society leading many to speculate that he might actually be Muad'Dib himself. Additionally, the Carino family, exiled to the planet Salusa Secundus, is plotting to reclaim the throne. Shaddam IV's third daughter, Princess Wencesia Carino, arranged for her son, Farad and Carino, to convert to the religion of Muad'Dib and plotted to assassinate the twins. Later, the missionary traveled to Salusa Secundus, where he met with Faradin, and promised that Duncan Idaho Gola would serve the Carino family. Mother Superior Jessica secretly reconciled with the Bene Gesserit and returned to Arrakis as their full ambassador. She was concerned that Aaliyah and her grand nephews might have turned evil. At the spaceship landing site, Jessica met Aaliyah, who came to greet her and immediately noticed that Aaliyah was possessed by a spirit. During her meeting with the twins, 
she observed that the children appeared to be unaffected by possession. Leto II revealed to Jessica Aaliyah's plan to kidnap her. Afterwards, Leto II sought out Stilgar, the leader of the Fremen, and told him that if he was killed, Stilgar needed to take Ganema and flee into the desert. Soon after, one of Aaliyah's followers attempted to assassinate Jessica, but with the help of Duncan Idaho Gola, she managed to escape. Duncan Idaho Gola had learned about the inappropriate relationship between Aaliyah and High Priest Javid and realized that Aaliyah had become evil. When Aaliyah hinted to Duncan that she wished her mother to disappear, Duncan appeared to agree to her request. However, Duncan did not act as Aaliyah wished. He kidnapped Jessica, and following the instructions of the preacher, secretly sent her to the planet Salusa Secundus. This act triggered a strong rebellion among the Fremen, especially when they learned that Muad'Dib's mother was involved, intensifying the rebellion. Princess Wencesia sent each of the twins a finely made cloak and secretly trained a pair of genetically modified Laza tigers. These tigers were designed to recognize and hunt the human twins wearing these cloaks. All Laza tigers had control devices implanted at birth, allowing them to be controlled remotely via transmitters. Moreover, these tigers were highly adaptable and could survive in the harsh environment of Arrakis. The twins used their precognitive abilities to foresee Princess Wensisha's assassination attempt. They sneaked into the desert at night, fought two Laza tigers controlled by Fremen spies, and successfully defeated them. Afterward, Leto II set out to find the preacher, while Ganima hypnotized herself into believing that her brother had died saving her from the Laza Tigers. News from Arrakis pleased Faradin, as one of the heirs to the Empire was declared dead, and the surviving Ganima became Aaliyah's hostage. The conflict between the Fremen and the Imperial Army in the desert almost led to a civil war, causing the government to come to a temporary standstill. The Bene Gesserit expressed strong dissatisfaction with the death of Leto II, and formally protested to the Corino family. In this event, Faradin seized the opportunity to take leadership of the family from his mother. Despite her efforts, Faradin did not inherit her inherent ambition and desire for revenge. He preferred studying history and books. Jessica and Faradin reached an agreement that Faradin would exile his mother, and with the support of the Bene Gesserit, he would marry Gehanima and inherit the throne. Meanwhile, Duncan Idaho Gola had a deep conversation with Jessica, expressing his disbelief that the Fremen and Sardaukar could coexist on the same planet. Duncan declared that he had fully become a Fremen and officially severed ties with the Atreides family, becoming their enemy. He also accused Jessica of acting solely for the interests of the Bene Gesserit, not the Atreides and suggested she return to the Bene Gesserit headquarters on the planet Wallach 9. On the 28th day commemorating the son of Muad'Dib, also known as Kwisatz Haderach Day, a holy day celebrated by the followers of Muad'Dib, Aliyah attended the preacher's sermon, trying to confirm if this mysterious figure was indeed her brother Paul. During the sermon, the preacher looked straight at Aliyah and revealed his true identity, a revelation that left Aaliyah extremely shocked. She remained stunned long after the sermon ended and the audience had dispersed. Furthermore, after escaping into the desert, Leto II was captured by a group of Fremen led by Namri, who claimed to be the father of High Priest Javid, and the one who captured Leto was minstrel Gurney Halleck. During Paul's reign, Gurney had a romantic involvement with Jessica, which they kept low profile to avoid scandal. Following Jessica's orders, Gurney selected Namri for a trial to determine if he would turn evil. All right, that's the end of today's podcast. Thank you for listening. If you like today's content, please don't hesitate to like it 
and welcome new friends to subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode.